All right, so I wanted to do a video showing the new kayak. It's a little windy out here, so I'll speak up. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But this is an RS-117 by Bonafide. It's about a 12-foot kayak uh, sit on top. Uh, and I just purchased it. So there goes the mothership over here. She's over there, so that's gonna be gifted. But yeah, this is the this is the bonafide. There goes Lolo over there, just chilling. So let's talk about this. What are some of the things, features of this kayak? Well, obviously it's a sit on top, uh, something that's totally new to me. Uh, the seat is absolutely comfortable. I did a lot of research on this seat itself. And, uh, you know, I'll just start off with that because it's one of the more comfortable seats that you're going to find out there. Um, it has a two position setup. It's in the low position right now. Uh, this is good for paddling and whatnot. Uh, to switch it to the high position is pretty straightforward. Um, I have it locked in right now, but you can take this little clip off in the back. It's hard to do it one handed because the bungee is really tight on it right now. So, uh, take that off, and basically it's just a matter of lifting it up, putting it in a high position. That's it. It has these little uh, lock ends right here. Sit it there. You're good. This is just for stability. You don't really need to have that clipped on, but um, it's always nice, and that's what it looks like in a high position. Um, that's where I tested it out at when I bought it. Very comfortable in that position. So, um, as far as the deck space, lots of deck space. Very stable kayak. You could stand up in it very easily. Um, I didn't feel like I was going to tip. I mean, obviously you have to be careful, but I didn't feel like I was going to tip at all. Um, so that's good. Uh, it's got this front deck right here. It's got some storage space underneath. I hope you guys can see this with the shadows. It's got some storage space for me. You know, if I want to put some stuff in there. Uh, right now I just have my transducer wire. I'm going to uh, tie this down a little bit. Um, but that's something that I worked on today was putting my transducer on. Um, and a couple other things. So let's start with the... Well, since we're talking about the transducer. This little spot under here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where the transducer goes through. Um, that's all set to go, and there's a, it, the wire goes through the scupper hole. Uh, up to my fish finder. I don't have it plugged in right now, but all I had to do was just drill a little hole right here uh, so that the power wire can come out. Transducer wire comes through the scupper. Rest right here. I put a little uh, tie right there so that um, it won't ever move around or anything like that. And inside of here, this little battery compartment, I mounted the fish finder on top. You know, I can take that off uh, when I'm like, you know, leaving and whatnot. Um, going in the house, I don't have to leave it on there. And my battery's inside of there. And it has a nice compartment just built just the right size for the battery. And this is watertight too. So um, it's not watertight since I drilled that hole. Um, I can get a little, a little uh, insert to put in there and that'll make it watertight, but nothing to worry about. Um, the foot pegs are really cool. Um, there's a little latch on the back of these foot pegs and it allows them to free roll. So eventually what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to, I may get a rudder for it, but I'm also thinking about doing something from the, from the trolling motor standpoint, thinking of mounting something on the back. Um, I've seen some things on YouTube where you can mount them on the back. Um, there's a hatch that's here, it's watertight and it's an access hatch. And you can get in here, put a backing plate on here. And it's rudder ready, so it has these holes drilled in for it. So you can actually put a rudder. Uh, Bonafide hasn't come out with theirs yet, but you can see this is where the rudder would end up going. But in honesty, I could put like a Torquedo back here or something like that. And then what I could do is use these right here because you could take the latch out and just have it free form you know, or free roll, and I can literally use this to control the direction of the trolling motor. So that's something that I'm thinking about doing. Um, I've got these, I've got these um, mounts right here for any accessories that I want. Uh, the one, the, the thing, and I have one right here too. The one thing that was different from this one and the upgraded version, the upgraded version had some mounts that fit back here too. 
Uh, they had two mounts that fit back there. Um, but I can actually add them on if I need it. Um, it's like a uh, it's like a fifteen dollar investment for each one. But I don't know how much I'm going to be putting on here. Um, as I start to do more fishing and use this more, I'm sure I'll want to, you know, put a GoPro or something. But I got to buy a GoPro, so use an old cell phone for right now. Anyway, and um, what I ended up doing today was putting on a anchor trolley, a real straightforward anchor trolley. Now this is the Yak Attack anchor trolley. I didn't do it the way that I did before, but it's the same concept. Uh, right now, the one thing that I do like about it, it has this locking mechanism here. So, you know, I don't need a cleat. This really just locks in the, the line so it's not going anywhere. And if I want to remove it, then I just put that latch back and runs, you know, the length. So that's really cool. I really enjoy that. Um, where I'm thinking of putting my retractable um, anchor line is underneath this seat kind of like in this inserted area right here and then having a little uh like a little um loop um put in right here so it'll keep the line going straight and then it can run through here and then you know travel wherever it needs to so another thing i like is that uh, when you're not using this you just clip it up in there and it's not going anywhere it won't go flying around when you're transporting it and stuff like that so excellent Excellent. I'm happy with what I have so far. There's some other things that I need to do. Um, looking into what type of a crate or storage area I'm going to put back here. But they've got these little pockets here in these areas where you could put you could put uh, Plano boxes. You know, so I have all kinds of places to put Plano boxes. I've been creative in the past. I know how to I know how to you know improvise and. If I have to use Velcro for certain things, and I can do that, but um, I also want to be able to carry a few rods. I may go with uh, the way that I did my my old rod holder, where I get some PVC pipe, and it would allow me to carry four. But if I get like a, a black pack uh, from Yak Attack or something like that, or even just a crate and put some uh, some holders here, then I can still carry the same amount. What I plan to use this for is I want to buy a bracket or even make a bracket where I can put my trolling motor um, off to the side over there. So that's something I'm working on. Um, and then, yeah, I can have it right here. And then, you know, if I ever get into doing tournaments or I just want to be on a bigger lake, I don't have to do a whole bunch of paddling. But in talking about paddling for this, excellent paddling kayak i mean it, it tracks so well uh the one thing that i noticed i actually tried it when it was windy at um i went to headwaters kayak and i tried it when it was windy with them and i was able to you know track with no problem because you know it's wide enough um, i think it's something like 34 inches wide if i'm not mistaken um, so it's wide enough and stable. It's like standing on a dock, to be honest with you. It's really nice. Um, you know, a moving dock. Uh, the one thing that I did not need was a rudder. So that's the one benefit to this. The other ones I tried, you know, um, they, they definitely needed a rudder for it. Um, but the length and the speed of this, you know, there's a good balance for it. God, this thing looks so much like a Star Destroyer, you know, or like an X-Wing fighter or something. Maybe that's what I'll call it, like the X-Wing. But, you know, I'm still trying to dub it as something. I do like this, though. This is actually a little sleeve. So what you could do is when you want to sit down and you, you know, want to insert like your, your, um, your paddle, it'll just hang and it won't slide out. So that's a real benefit as well. So really happy about this. Really happy about this. The one thing that I did do is I didn't get a brand new one. Um, I totally had the option to, um, but I chose not to. Um, this one was, I could tell it was like one of their display models. They call it a blim, meaning it has some blemishes on it. You know, and there are some little, you know, nicks here and there. You know, and I don't know if you can see them on camera, but I don't care about them. You know, like you'll see this right here. There's a little nick right there. You know, I don't care about that stuff because I'm going to end up beating this thing up anyway. You know, um, as long as there's no holes in it, as long as it does what it's supposed to do, I'm fine with that. 
um, it being a blim, I saved myself 200 bucks on the purchase. So I can deal with that. I can deal with it. Anyway, uh, really happy about this. Just wanted to do a little short video. Uh, more to come, adding some deck lights, like I said. Going to be adding the uh, crate, um, you know, and just getting the fish ready. And uh, once I get it out on the water, we'll be doing a video about that. All right.